Hey everybody, welcome to a special episode of Talking Scuba. I am Advanced Open Water Instructor Bob Shoemaker. Uh, this is a special edition because we're talking about a program that is near and dear to my heart, and that is the Dive Heart program. Uh, this is a special program that helps people with handicaps become scuba divers. It is great to think that there are people out there that give up their time to help others. Um, this is a great opportunity for individual divers, dive clubs, and other dive organizations to give back to a sport that we care about so very much. My name is uh, Jim Elliott. I'm the president and founder of Dive Heart, a nonprofit organization who helps build confidence and independence in children, adults, and veterans with disabilities through scuba diving. We've teamed up with Advanced Scuba here in Holland, Michigan to touch the lives of individuals with disabilities. And behind me, we have some folks who just got out of the water and it's helped create a paradigm shift in their life. Now it's not Johnny or Kelly in the wheelchair anymore, it's Kelly the scuba diver from Mary Freebed Rehab Center and we're excited to be working with them and we're, we're really excited about the opportunity to be on Talking Scuba and have you reach out to friends in the scuba industry and tell them about what we're trying to do to change people's lives through scuba diving. My name is Tim Marr and I own Advanced Scuba in Holland, Michigan. Um, I'm a former military diver and wanted to give something back to my people and that I served with and we've been working with Dive Heart for a couple years to get this thing make it all happen with Mary Freebed and it's here today. With the help from Jim, Tim, and the other volunteers, these students were able to experience scuba for the very first time. While in Chicago, I talked to a volunteer diver named Emily. She explained that many people with disabilities hear they can't do something. With the help from Dive Heart, they get to hear that they can. This is an excerpt from an interview I did with Bob, who is an instructor for Dive Heart. He explains a little bit about how the program works. Now, now you guys work with all sorts of different special needs from, from physical to uh, mental or anything like that as well, right? That's right. We, uh, we do the whole range uh, from a complete quadriplegic who can't use arms and legs, um, any, just about any form of physical impairment uh, that doesn't have a pressure-related injury uh, related to it. That would preclude somebody from being in the program. And then uh, cognitive uh, levels of disability, we work with autistic uh, people, we work with people with Down syndrome, and uh, each one is unique, so it's hard to kind of quantify them into this is how we, how we work with it. Um, we treat them all individually, and we just kind of feel our way through the process when it comes to a cognitive uh, disability. And now there's all sorts of different levels of, uh, of certification as well, isn't that correct? What we do when we train, um, even though in the back of our heads we, we may know that they can't complete all the open water skills, we treat them as an open water diver at first. And depending on the skills that they can and can't do, um, we scale back the training, we focus on, on, on the areas that we know they can work on. And then when it comes time to, to certify them, there it's a, it's a tiered certification level uh, outside of open water. And there's three levels, one, two, three, A, B, C, it depends on who the agency is. Uh, a level one diver is somebody who has a disability and they can perform buddy rescue skills and self-rescue skills so that I as a diver with a disability can perform, uh, can give you the same assistance that you would expect of me. Um, level two says I can perform self-rescue skills, I can clear my mask, I can recover my regulator if it gets kicked out, I can drop my weights. If, if something, if I, if I feel I have to, but I can't provide assistance to you. So now I need two buddies with me. One buddy must be certified to work with somebody with a disability, the other one can be open water. Level three 
uh, says, I can't help myself, let alone you, but I can safely use scuba gear. Now, now we put you in a team of three, one of which must be certified in working with somebody with a disability. The other ones can be open water, but we'd prefer a stronger team like a rescue dive, uh, or at least an advanced certification. And if at all possible, have a dive professional in the mix. But the program is actually to not have dive professionals in the mix, but you want to be as safe as you can. And when we get to a level three, you know, maybe you have some mobility, but what we prepare for is a, a, the simplest skill, um, equalizing. We have to reach in and we have to pinch your nose and you have to exhale to clear your ears. And if, it, if, the, if uh, equalization works, fine, but let's say you can't equalize. Well, I'm a complete quad, all I can do is move my head. Okay, there's a problem. Now we have to stop and go through a mental checklist and, and click off, is it your ears? No, it's not my ears. Maybe my mask is off a little bit, we just need to adjust it. So we have to stop, figure it out, and fix it if we can, if not, we're back up. But it takes a team of, of at least three helping, helping out the diver with a disability to make it all work safely. Our executive producer, Johnny B. Allen, interviewed one of the students, Kelly, after her first scuba dive. Um, I don't even know how to begin to explain how awesome it was to be um, in the water. It's basically, it was a 60 minute pressure relief. I didn't have any pressure on my body. I think the biggest thing that I learned is how equalizing it is. Um, you know, on land, I'm in a wheelchair and in the water, I'm an equal to all of them moving around. Um, I didn't have flippers on my feet, but um, with my arms, I was able to move myself around and it was just such a freeing experience. Yeah, we're already talking with uh, the dive shop that um, we'll have them come to Mary Freebed and for the therapists, for all of us to take the class and get certified. So we're set for when the clinic is in October. I am going on a cruise a year from this November. And so I think this certification will definitely come in handy. Um, but I know that they're talking about getting us out on a rock in Lake Michigan. So we'll see what happens with that. There are many ways to get involved. Let's see what Jim and Tim have to say about joining the program. One of the ways that you can help um, help people with disabilities is, is to go to DiveHeart.org and, and reach out to them and tell them about what we're doing because 95% of the people with disabilities don't even realize that scuba diving is an option and it's so powerful it can change their lives. Again, creating a, a paradigm shift in helping them focus on things they can do instead of things they can't do. This is our first phase for our buddy training to do for handicapped buddies. Um, I'm going to be an instructor, which I'm doing right now, and uh, we're going to start training buddies. In the fall, we're going to be doing a, um, a clinic with Mary Freebed to do um, um, some handicapped divers in the pool. So anybody that wants to get involved in it, we'll, we'll be more than happy to help you out. So. Most of us get into diving thinking how great it would be to see those beautiful reefs or a pristine wreck. Once you get into the sport, all you want to do is share those amazing experiences. We now have the opportunity to share our sport with people who might not ordinarily get the chance to do so. I am excited to give back to a sport that has given me so much. I want to thank Jim at Dive Heart and Tim at Advanced Scuba in Holland, as well as all the divers that participated in the event. I want you guys to remember to check us out on Facebook as well as Twitter. Uh, we look forward to hearing your comments on our website or via email at askus at talking-scuba.com. Uh, I want to thank you guys all for stopping by today. We will see you uh, next week and to the next dive. Cheers. <laughs>